I thought I would have absolutely nothing but excitement as we drove away, but I'm getting really nervous. So we came across a rattlesnake home. I wanna go. Hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. One of two last things that we need to do to the Jeep before we can leave is get the rack on and get the tow bar on. And today I am installing the rack because we finally got it and uh, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> So here are two large boxes, large and heavy boxes that our rack came in. We got the, uh, we went with the uh, cheapest one we could find with the best ratings. So it's a barricade off-road armor rack. So this goes on the posts of the Jeep so that we can still have the top off. And we also don't have a hard top, so this should work. Hopefully it's the right one, right? Right. All right. So here's what you're seeing behind me. One more piece of the puzzle down. Got the rack on the Jeep installed. So kayaks and paddle boards can go on top. And uh, now all we're waiting for is the tow bar on the front of the Jeep. After that, we are 100% ready to go. Last night, the very last piece of the puzzle got delivered the base plate for the Jeep that I originally ordered the wrong part for and uh, that's what set us back almost a week and a half waiting for that new part to come so I showed you we got the rack installed got the kayak mounted up on the top there once that's on it scares me a little bit to say honestly I'm surprised that it scares me a little bit to say but we're ready to roll um, as far as I know. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know yet, so when we try to hook this thing up, there might be problems, but um, as far as I can tell, a couple hours get this thing installed and then we're, we're magic. E so I just got done installing the base plate bar onto the Jeep. Wasn't too bad, took me probably two hours. So now, the next step is the moment of truth <laughs> where we've gotta get this thing behind the bus and try to get it all connected and uh, kinda troubleshoot anything that comes up or tow it or whatever. So I was telling Katie earlier today that we need to make a, um, we need to make a checklist, a driveway checklist so that we go through every single item before we pull away moving so that we make sure everything's secured, locked, uh, you know, everything that needs to be done. Where are you going, Mike? Uh, run into you guys? You gonna run into us? Ah! Are you lawn kayaking? No. Nope. <laughs> Looks pretty fun. Are you wishing we were in water? Yeah, me too. So we are hooking the Jeep up to the bus for the very first time. <laughs> and uh, we were supposed to leave tonight, but uh, looks like it's gonna be tomorrow morning, barring any issues with this little situation. No, no. I, I have little to no idea what I'm doing here. I don't even think we'll notice a Jeep is behind us. Don't say uh oh. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. There's a lock on it. No key, no key, no key. Hiccup. Number 50,000. So we got this, this tow bar used. And I didn't even notice that there was an, a locking uh, bolt on it, 
or a locking uh, pin, and we don't have a key. So I gotta cut this thing off. Filling all the fields right now. <laughs> I was naive enough to think that this day, this pull away day, would be just all excitement and fun and and uh, we're feeling everything. We're feeling a little bit sad to be leaving. We're feeling a little bit worried and scared. Will everything go okay? Well, I'm nervous to tow the Jeep and what will that do for the bus? And uh, there's just, there's a million things to think about and uh, I'm thinking them all right now <laughs> I wish I mean I'm sure when we pull away there will be some excitement for sure um, but I'm just trying to be real with you I'm trying to be um, transparent and just let you know that this isn't this isn't all just drive off into the sunset in your school bus it's tough hard we've got doubts we've got fears we've got uh, things we're gonna miss people we're gonna miss and um, so it's mixed so I think probably in the next couple minutes you'll see us driving away and we'll be screaming and happy and excited uh, but for now it's a lot of logistical stuff details and, uh, and nerves to be honest to be frank so um, don't want to be a bummer but also want to take you guys along for the entire ride and not just pretend like everything is peachy all the time good morning guys it's like uh, six in the morning so this morning is our official pull away and I'm excited um, we're gonna pull away we're gonna drive about well in normal speeds in a, in a normal car it says uh, it'll take about three and a half hours for us. I'm guessing it's going to take between four and five. Um, that's a guess, though, because I have no idea. And uh, we're going to a place called City of Rocks in Idaho. And I've always wanted to go. It's just supposed to be cool rock pillars and just tons of things to explore. So we're going to head up there and see. Online, all the camping spots are taken. So we're just going to head up and see if we can find a place to just chill. And, um, yeah, this is for real. This is the pull away day where we pull away from everybody that, uh, yeah, I don't know what I was going to say there, but here we go. We are officially driving away. Woo! Everybody's still asleep. It's not that exciting. Well, that didn't last long. We, uh, got about 20 miles down the road and blinkers are gone no idea why so we'll be troubleshooting that for the next little while to be honest this is the first time I've even opened up this breaker panel slash wiring mess and uh, yeah it's a it's a little daunting so we got the blinkers figured out and uh, we're jumping back on the road City of Rocks, there's a, about a 20 mile stretch of dirt road. It's been pretty smooth, except for some washboard areas. But just a minute ago, I forgot to turn on the camera, but this whole bus was just full of dust. Just almost couldn't see the back rooms. So that's going to be fun to clean up. Alright, here we are. City of Rocks National Reserve. 
We took 20 miles on a dirt road that we didn't even need to, and this is what the Jeep looks like. What a mess. Holy cow. There is so much dust everywhere. All right, we just pulled into our first camp spot. Milo basically slept the entire way. How was your nap, bud? Boo? We gotta clean a bunch of dust out of this place. This whole thing is just so dusty. Look at all that dust on the countertop. I don't know if you can see it or not. We gotta wipe this whole place down. We are in the city of Rock State Park and uh, it's unbelievable. It is so cool. Just these giant pillars of rock that come up from everywhere and uh, world-class rock climbing, adventuring, camping. It's beautiful. Kids are having a blast climbing on the granite. Check out that rock. That is some gritty, 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 gritty stuff. So cool. We're doing it, we're really doing it. I can't believe this. What's the problem? Why? Who farted? Mom! <laughs> oh, what you up to? Um, just hanging out. <laughs> How do you like City of Rocks? Oh, this rock is good too. This rock is good too? Nice, Kenya. Yeah. Does this does the tongue sticking out help you? <laughs> Sometimes it helps to have the tongue sticking out. Lion pose. pose can you so we came across a rattlesnake home like Milo says and there was a bunch of them in there <gasps> oh. I want to go yeah. Mama, can we go Milo almost grabbed him or almost stepped on him he was really really close he was he heard the rattle and backed right up what'd you guys think of the rattlesnakes <laughs> creepy there's a lot of them stacked on top of each other. Yeah. What do you call it, Milo? Do you call it a nest? No, you call it um, <laughs> a rattlesnake home. That's oh. what the crab brother said. Oh, okay. Where are we going, Milo? To, hi to hike. To hike? No, to rock climb. To rock climb. Yeah. Get our rock climbing gear out. Go yeah. climb some walls, right? Rock walls. Right, Allison? Right. Milo, did you find a ride? Yep. Oh, that's nice. I wish I had my, I wish I had the Jeep here. You wish you had the Jeep here? Yeah. Well, it's not going to kill us to do a little bit of walking. In fact, it'll help us live. You are doing awesome, bro. Yeah, Kenya. Nice work, girl. Good job. 
Hudson. Dad. What are you doing? I'm trying to get the cups out. Get down from there. Now standing on the couch. Alright guys, so this is our first morning waking up on the road and uh, we're in um, City of Rock State Park in Idaho and I just wanted to share a couple quick thoughts about the trip so far. <laughs> I don't know if we call it trip or just living or whatever, but um, yesterday was interesting. Driving was nerve-wracking for sure. Um, we're towing the Jeep, obviously, and so there were a few places like coming up over a pass that I was going 20 miles per hour and just didn't know if the bus was even gonna make it. Um, so I've gotta figure out, I mean, if I can figure out a way to, to know if there's a huge grade coming up or something soon, we might consider unhooking the Jeep and driving them separately so that it's not as difficult of a time. Um, it's a little scary. We also obviously have a lot of just kind of mixed emotions right now. Um, great emotions. Uh, Katie cries about every 20 minutes or so, just over stuff. <laughs> um, one other cool thing is that Katie's going to start blogging on our website, lovealwaysadventureoften.com. So that's cool. She's a great writer and she feels way more comfortable writing than doing the video thing, so we'll get to hear from her a little bit more. So you should check that out, lovealwaysadventureoften.com. By the time this video is out, there should be one or two posts up there. And uh, I'm gonna hope that she stays consistent with it because she's really good at it. Um, anyway, we're excited to be out. We're a little overwhelmed. We're kind of pinching ourselves, right, Addison? Pinching? Pinching ourselves. It's an expression. Like to check if we're dreaming. <laughs> but it actually finally happened. So we're stoked to have you guys along for the ride. Um, and, uh, and we're so excited for what's ahead of us and what we've experienced already in building the bus and getting out of here. We've learned so much about ourselves and our families and uh, can't wait to keep going. So love always. Venture often. Wow, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy seeing our videos as much as we love making them. Don't miss a single adventure or bus moment. Make sure you hit subscribe and share with everyone you know. We'll see you next week and remember to love always and adventure often.